I don't know if y'all paid attention to my friend Denny the other day, our conversation. He was talking about a good friend of ours, Josh. Excuse me. Well, you know, Denny's known Josh for a long time, and so have I. I've never heard of Josh doing any drugs. You know, I know when he's been unemployed, he smoked some weed with him. But that was years ago. He's a pretty responsible person. Whenever he's uh, had a problem getting to work, he called me, and I would drive him. You know, I've never seen them act out or do anything crazy other than the way he drives, you know. <laughs> He's a wild man with the driving, but other than that, Josh and uh, Asia have always been great parents. And I hate to tell these people, but they attack and go after them, there's going to be a problem. I mean, it's already a problem they're messing with me. They, if they're going to go after, and which they've already been doing that. They've already gone after my friends and family and tried to discredit them. That's what they do. It's real sad, too, because Josh and Asia are really good, nice, kind people. They're true Christians. And it's just discrimination to go after people like that. They're victims in this, too, because, you know, Mr. Carpenter went and ran up uh, at their house drunk in the middle of the night one night and then put tracks in the back field back here because he couldn't get a hold to me. And they told him, dude, I don't know. Nah, I'm not getting in the middle of that. That's real. And they've tried to stay out of it. So is the other, you know, a lot of the other people involved because they know how nasty these guys have been. And they've told them to their face that they were wrong. So, <laughs> you know, it's really sad to see these people go down like this, but they did it to themselves. And trying to falsely accuse my friends and family of stuff is not the answer either. That's not going to get you anywhere but deeper in, in, in trouble. Think about that. Have a blessed day.